Final day of round one is here. Tonight we'll find out the last team who makes it to the Eastern semifinals. My name is Andrea Sashenko and this is your Daily KHL update. This is Ufa Russia, game seven between Mikhail Grigorov and Torpedo versus Yegor Dubrovsky and Salavat Yulai. First period and Salavat has their first scoring chance already. Antti Pilstrom gets the puck on the left wing, takes a mid red shot. Ivan Kasudin has a piece of it and it's just enough to keep Pilstrom from scoring. And here's Pilstrom once again, this time delivering a huge hit on Vadim Kamitsky down the other end. That looks pretty tough. You gotta keep your head up, especially when you're in the slot. Second period now, Salavat is on a power play. Kirill Kaltsev shows some great individual effort as he often does. Vital Alexei Garotov, he dishes it over to Igor Mirnov and he sends it in. Shots like this aren't exactly highlighted on his resume, but it worked this time. 1-0 Salavat. A few minutes later, Salavat has a man advantage again. Sergei Zinovic feeds Denis Hulistov for a shot. That's blocked. Zinovic takes a shot himself and after several deflections, the puck slides into the net. They had to review the goal, obviously, but Zinovic was credited with it nevertheless. Salavat now leads 2-0. A little later, Igor Dabrowski throws the loose stick at Wojta Kowalski and that's an automatic penalty shot. You can't do that. Denis Parshin takes the shot. He's pretty good when it comes to that. He goes to his left, shoots and Andrei Vasilevsky robs him. Oh, what a phenomenal toe save by Andrei Vasilevsky. Now that's a save only a handful of goals in the world can do. Wow. But Parshin has his revenge late on the period. He beats Sergei Bernatsky for a shot and he puts Torpedo on the board. They're keeping things close on this one, 2-1. Third period now, Salavat fans are anxious for the final buzzer to go, but they're gonna have to wait through Torpedo's final rush. They pull Kasudin for an extra attacker and throw everything they got at Salavat. Vasilevsky stands tall though in the nerve-wracking last moments of Game 7 and Salavat lives on. Salavat Yulayev is the only remaining former Gagarin Cup champion in Round 2 this year. They will face Boris in the Eastern Sandys. A couple of Nadezhda Cup games to tell you about as well. Severstal beat Vitis in Game 4 of the series and they clinch a spot in the semis. They will face Dynamo Minsk. Traktor lost to Neftehimik 5-0 and Neftehimik now leads the series 2-1. And finally, Avangard had no mercy for Ugra as they enjoyed a very convincing 8-2 win to take the 2-1 lead in the series too. And that's it for your daily KHL update. Round 2 is now complete. We take a short one-day break and we return on Thursday with two Western semifinals. Better get some rest. My name is Andreas Sachin and I'll see you guys soon.